Don't touch it. The border is cut off. Power is not there. 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 Power is not there.
The mean pa Camera bro. Abde 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 abde. Tu que tu Allah. Yeah, we need to get the phone back on. 
Ready? 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 Fiona! Chari, 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 ala da, ala da. Chari ma, chari ma. Chari, hinda. Don't beep, don't beep, don't beep. Chari, 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 chari. Where are you going? 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 Come on! 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 Senate, if you have to have 16 members, 
and his numbers are appointed nine by the governing party of today in consultation with the Prime Minister, the leader of the opposition, and His Excellency, the Governor General. The other seven is appointed by the leader of the opposition in consultation to discuss the nation's business. Now, ladies and gents, the dog that you just came from is known as the Prince George Dog. Now, the Prince George Dog was dredged between 1966 and 1969, and on any given day, about eight of the world's largest ships could be burnt at that particular dock. Now, the water depth is in that area is between 37 and 40 feet deep, and it cost the government some $4 million to dredge the Prince George Dock. Now, before that dock was dredged, when the big line of like the fantasy, the ecstasy on our religion here in the island. It comes the seventh Bahamian governor, the eighth Bahamian governor general of an independent Bahamas, meaning I'm to begin our independence in 1973. Now he also has a long and distinguished career in politics. Now the statue that you're about to see in front of the National Liberation Statue. Everybody can see it? Everybody see it? Yes. Okay. Now we know in United States, but you know in United States. Yeah. This is a five-star restaurant right here. This, you ever heard about the Great Cliff? Very exclusive, very expensive. This is one of the top restaurants in the Bahamas right here. The Great, the Great Cliff restaurant. Great Cliff, yeah. Very exclusive, very expensive. Which one? Which one? Who this up? Huh? What food they serve? What food? Like all types. All, all types. Yeah, all continental types. American. Oh, all, all types. Yeah. That, that's top of the line. That's top. That's top of the line. Yeah. Big, big time food. Big money. What's the population? The population of the Bahamas. It's about three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Now Nassau, now we on we on the island of Nassau or New Providence. Now Nassau is the capital of New Providence, and New Providence is the capital of the Bahamas. But New Providence is a very small island. In fact, the way we going right now, which is east and west, is twenty one miles. North and south is seven miles. But it's very densely populated. In fact, we have a population of a little over two hundred thousand people living right here on this island. And the reason for that is, right, is because of New Providence being the capital, all the infrastructure, the central government. Most of the people from our other islands, they tend to come for a better way. It's like in the United States, when you move from state to state, trying to find a better way. Tourism. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the Bahamas, tourism is our number one industry. In fact, we welcome about five million tourists every year to these islands. Now that's by the way of the cruise ships and by the way of the airlines. And so tourism is like our bread and our butter. It is the engine that keeps this country going. And so when you lovely folks come here to enjoy the sun, the sand, the sea, our lovely people, our hospitality, hopefully we try to show you a good time so when you go back home, you can tell your family, friends or relatives of the lovely time that you had in Nassau. And like our slogan say, once you visit the Bahamas, once is not enough, and it just keeps getting better and better all the time. Now, tourism also is responsible for 50% of the gross national product of these islands. That's goods and services. Tourism also is responsible for 50% of all the employment here in the islands. And so out of the 145,000 people that we have employed, tourism is responsible for half of that.